second thoughts. <laughs> Nah. A little bit of an advantage. I don't, yeah, yeah, you are. Limbo video just dropped. What was the final? <laughs> Well, today was a pretty mixed bag. Log went well. Farmers, all right, considering last week, I, I uh, barely, barely touched 30 meters with it, really. Um, but everything else, some squat, sandbag, and now, well, this shouldn't really be affected too much. I'm gonna do some double overhand training after this. But um, yeah, my, my inner hip, hip flexor on my right leg, especially, and um, around my right, right abdomen and right lower back is just all sort of really, really uncomfortable, sharp pains, um, just really feeling the load in my lower back, trying to pick up the, the 120 bag, which is really disappointing, because um, it's a bag I know I can throw around when I'm at my best quite easily. Um, should be no problem to pick up, really. But it is what it is, just sort of been hopping from one injury to another this year, pretty much it's what it seems. Um, but the good thing is this year's been a real learning curve. We're figuring out how to train around injury, uh, building up my knowledge base on how to recover from injury. So in the future, I'll know how to get right on top of things if they reoccur. But it just really sucks at the minute. But luckily, Log, log is um, progressing really nicely and seemingly pretty unaffected by um, current injuries I've got going on. But yeah, squat, deadlift, anything sort of posterior chain dominant is uh, a bit in the mud at the minute, which isn't great for, for strongman, where almost everything is very posterior chain dominant. You know, you need to have strong hip flexors, you need to have strong glutes, you have a strong lower back, a whole, all up and down your back, all strong hamstrings, a lot. Um, and it's a real shame. It's been going on for about a month and a half now, coming up on, since I sort of had these lower back issues popping up and then now my hip flexes in the bin. So, is what it is. I'm seeing a, a very good specialist who's worked with a number of pro strongmen in recovery in, um, well, week after next, Tuesday. So I'll be very excited to see him and get back on a reg reg uh, regime to sort of fix me and um, get back to where I know I should be. I, I can, all these things where I'm being held back, I, I can just feel it. I can feel that I can do so much more, but I'm just being held back by these small things and then there's also a mental block at the minute I feel like where I don't want to push it and then a small thing become a much bigger injury. So I'm trying to, I'm trying to train hard while also training safe which is really difficult and um, it, it, tests, it tests me in many ways. But it is what it is, it's all part of the journey. 2023 hasn't been my year particularly, but 2024, hopefully things looking better. Maybe less injury, less, less illness, but it is what it is. Just gotta suck it up and, and move on. All right. Bit of grip work and then get me home. I need to. I need to fucking eat.
It's my feet that fucking hurt. That's it. Of the first 20 seconds or so, everything else is all right. Ooh, my feet are coming around as I slowly lose sensation in them. With the ice and all, we're probably looking at about six, seven degrees at the minute. It's about 6.30 at night, so it's colder outside. Outside temperature is about eight, nine degrees. A little bit colder in the tub. There we go. I'm easing into it now. Oh, I've just been feeling some aches and pains in my left shoulder today. And after yesterday's session, my back hip flexors have all been a bit sore. This should help with that in for a brief time at least. Filled it up quite well. Water is just just below the brim. Oh. So my shoulders are able to stay underneath quite well. Yeah. Just a good good way to challenge yourself and just and control the shaking but yeah, sometimes it's just going to be a natural reaction I've been slacking off a little bit I haven't done it in a, about a week so needing to get back into it hopefully once it gets colder I won't need to buy ice I'll have a nice layer of ice at the top hopefully eventually that I can just break in in the morning and then just Pop right in, other than having to drain it every couple of weeks and clean it, because it is a stagnant pool of water at the end of the day. Can't go much longer than that, otherwise it will be slimy and horrible and disgusting, basically. Well, I think I've easily done over three minutes, which is uh, about a good target to set. I don't really do this for the, any sort of physical uh, benefit other than very short term, you feel great after you get out. And that nice rush of warmth all across your body, which for some people can help them sleep better, I guess, if they do it right afterwards. I mean, oh, the come down is, is great, but um, also a great way to start your day. But yeah, however you decide to do it, it's mostly for the psychological and mental health. Uh, just slow release of dopamine across the day, rather than the quick release of dopamine most people get, and I get, you know, from social media and stuff like that. There we go. Oh. Oh. Don't look at my dick. Fucking hell. It's not in its best form. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. 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 In there. Perfect. Ooh. Feel very, very fucking. Uh, let's move this around. Get the lighting better. Ooh, Jesus. Feel very fucking fuzzy. Ooh. Feel good. Feel good. Right. Let's get inside now.